Hello everybody, welcome back to my Let's Play of Dark Souls Remastered for Nintendo Switch. This is part 8, my name is B Knight. And we actually, um, I did some traveling off screen to this bonfire. Because where we need to go is really close to this one. And also I changed my armor a little bit. The Elite Knight armor, with the exception of the Fang Helm, I switched around. Because it's actually a little bit stronger defensively. It does weigh a bit more, but thankfully I'm just below the threshold of fat rolling. So... Yeah, you know, if it's better and I can wear it, why not, right? So let's go. We want to go up here. Let's go this way. We want to go up. And avoid the big... No! Oh, oh god, oh god, oh god. Where is the dragon? Okay, we're, we're, we're just gonna run. We're not gonna we're not gonna mess with this thing. Yeah, we out. And now that we got the basement key from the Moon and Butterfly boss fight, we can go down here. Okay. Let's go. We got a lot of souls. We're gonna use them soon. Cause, hold on. Come in. Oh, hey, Mom. What's this stuff? Mail. Mm -hmm. I thank you. Bye. All right, sorry about that. My mother had to come in and gave me some mail. But anyway, moving on. So we can go down here to the left, or we can go up to the right. Let's go up to the right, because we're going to open a shortcut. A very important shortcut, actually. So, over there is the bonfire where we started the part, right over there. This gate couldn't open, but now we opened it, so, hooray! Let's go ahead and explore more. I still got 9 SS flasks, so we're pretty good. Still pretty good, pretty good, yeah. Okay. Oh, dogs, dogs, dogs. Dogs in this game suck. They can inflict bleed, and they're annoying to fight. But well, thankfully, my big sword here can uh, take them out in one hit. If you're not careful, these guys will take a big chunk out of you because of the bleed effects. Let's go this way. Some of these doors you could go into. Somebody. Like this one. Please let me out of here. Somebody. Anybody. Help me. Unlock the door. Damn. I'm finished. How did this ever happen? I'm wondering the same thing, buddy. If you have the, if you bought the residence key from that merchant earlier, you'll find this guy. Brilliant. You opened the door for me. Thank you. I'm saved. I thought I might never escape. I am Griggs of Vinheim, a sorcerer of the school. I am much obliged for your assistance. Thanks to you, I may now resume my travels. Talk to them again. Oh, hello. I'm fine. I will rest a while, then return to Firelink Shrine. I have my sorcery. And I will be more cautious next time. Besides, I have an important task at hand. Alright, so now that we've freed this guy, he's actually going to show up at Firelink Shrine and he will teach you sorcery. So go and learn better if you want to learn use magic, or if you're a sorcerer and wants to learn even better magic, this is the guy you free. He'll show up at Firelink Shrine next time you're there and he'll teach you magic. Hello. I have this. Oh, I know I want to talk to you. Pledge Corpse, Sorcerer Hat, and Sorcerer's Tat the Catalyst. You need a catalyst to cast magic. Treasure ahead. Yes, there is. Okay. So, pretty nice. Pretty cool. Pretty useful. I may end up learning magic, at least how to imbue my weapon with magic to be a magic sword. I might do that. We'll see. I don't really need it, though. Oh, okay. I don't want to get ambushed, so. Yeah, these guys with the torches can be kind of annoying, actually. Sorry. Yep. 
Ultra Humanity is kind of worth it. What I like about the sword is if I do a running attack, I do kind of like a circular AoE slice attack. Very useful. Such a situation like that. I almost died, but... Anyway. Let's go. Now be careful, because if you pass a certain point, some bandits are going to come and jump you. These guys are, can be kind of annoying, but they're weak. They're just agile little buggers. And they throw knives at you. Oh! oh! oh. Dang it! No, 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 no! Oh. Oh. That was brutal. Not that bad, though, in all, in all honesty. And this is why I like having high poise, because if I had, didn't have any poise at all, I would have been staggered to death and comboed to death. Let's take a look at what's inside here. Try attacking. Very nice. Uh, yeah, there's some items. Mail breaker. That's a rapier. Pretty good rapier. That's more of a dexterity build thing, though. Which I'm not. I'm strong. Alright. A dog will come out here and some assassins. No dog, huh? Okay. Okay, well, let's turn the corner so that way the knife guy runs at me. Dog right there. Nope. Stab. Oh, good thing this bar didn't fill up. One thing I like about being a heavy armor build is you have a lot of resistance to bleeding, so the bar gets bigger. Which is really nice. No doggy. Bad doggy. Um, Alright, let's see. The corner's looking fine. Okay. Here we have a very tough boss. The Capra Demon. Two things you gotta know about this boss. The arena's very small. And he starts with two dogs. This is a very complicated fight for newer players, but if you know what you're doing, it ain't so bad. Let's go. I'm gonna show you the strategy. What you wanna do is go up here. The dogs are fast, but he is slow. Okay. I don't think we're gonna do this. Yeah, I'm dead. Never mind. Okay, I messed up. The thing that I was trying to do is go up the stairs and have the dogs follow me and then kill the dogs there. And because the Capra Demon typically moves very slowly, you have enough time to kill the two dogs and then you can fight the Capra Demon one-on-one. -on -one. The Capra Demon one-on-one, -on -one, as scary as he looks and demonic as he looks, he's really not that hard. Yeah. And I lost all my souls but I got a little overconfident. So I'm going to do... I'm gonna go ahead and cut until I get to the boss fight. I will see you guys there. Okay, now we're back. So round two, shall we? Two of this correctly now. This guy's now we fight man oh man on my boy. I'm dead. I'm not. That's an easy hit to dodge. Staggered, get a free hit. Whoa. That's fine, you're doing fine. Hit up. Ah! Easy. Swing again? No? Got him! See? 
He's not that hard. There is a cheese way to kill him, which I don't know, nor do I care, because I try to fight as honorably as possible. Granted, I'm the same guy who shot a mage who can attack back, but in these circumstances, when it comes to boss wars, I want to fight a mano e mano. You know what I'm saying? Got all our souls back. That is wonderful. And we got the keys to the depths. So we're basically, as I would like to say, we're one fourth done with the game, basically. Because the next part I would consider to be heading towards more the middle of the game. So yeah. Kill this assassin. Kill the assassin. Give him jack squat. Let's see what this is. Lord Silver of Lost and Dead. Now the key that he dropped opens this. We're not gonna go there just the yeah, actually hold on. Do I wanna go there? There's two things I wanna do. Well three things actually I wanna do before we go back up here. How, how many large titanite shards do I have? I wanna see. There we go. Or titanite chunks. No, it's not. Oh, I don't have any large Titanite shards. Hmm. Hmm. I'm trying to think real quick. Okay, fine. We're still going to go down there. So let's actually go down to the depths. we got plenty of time. Now this area can be tricky. It's, hard. it's a bit of a maze. A little hard to navigate. It could be annoying because there's new types of enemies here that are super annoying. A lot of dogs, a lot of rats, and a new type of enemy, which will encounter. New enemies to fight. Large soul name of soldier. Okay, we're banking a lot of souls. This is kind of scary, but there's a reason why I'm saving them. This mad butcher guy who's annoying. Um, I think I can parry him. I know I can backstab him. Ooh. I'm dead. Yep. doesn't respawn. Okay, he didn't give me his treasure. Okay, open this. Large ember. Okay, that's one of the things we came here for. With that, it lets us, if we give it to Andre, we can go ahead and reinforce our weapons from plus 5 to plus 10, but you need large titanite shards, which is why I was checking if I had large titanite shards. So I'm not going to give it to him just because I don't even have any, and we don't have the means to farm them effectively yet. But there's two more things I want to do. Or at least one more thing. Where does he get these dogs? Bad dog. I just don't care. Being a big heavy build, you just don't care. You give me... You just don't give any cares out in the world. Go up here and go to the left. 
And here's reason number two why we're here. You. Yes, you. Here, over here. Please, you must help me. Sure. Thank you. I would have been Chloe. without you. Been eaten alive. I shudder to think. Thank you. Thank you dearly. I am Luensius. Or the Great Swamp. I will not forget my death to you. Cool. Laurentius of the Great Swamp. Oh, hello there. I'm fine, thanks to you. You say anything else? Oh, hello there. I'm no. Okay, so there's a reason why his hand is glowing. He's a pyromancer. And just like the other guy who teaches you sorceries, this guy teaches you pyromancies. So next time you go to Farley Shrine, he will teach you how to wield the power of fire. Which, there's no intellect or faith requirement to use fire, so we're just not going to use fire. I'm going to use it too much, I'm going to use it here and there. I'm mostly using it for farming reasons, you'll see why in a second. So I want to go to my other reason. I don't have to. Oh, another one! Okay, 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 okay. Alright, alright. Back it up, back it up, back it up. Out of the fool. Then you're dead. A sack. I cannot imagine that being too useful. Alright, let's go. Who's gonna exit this cesspool of an area? There it is. Filthy. It's basically a sewer. It's pretty nasty down here. Let's go. Whew, we're back. Now let's go this way instead. I heard a, I heard a bone arrow. Oh, hello there. Bye. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Yeah, we can go here. We can go through this doorway. And this will unlock a very big shortcut for us. We're not really that big. Oh, hello. You still have your senses about you. Then why won't you buy some of my mods? I need your soul. <laughs> well, you don't sound creepy at all. This is a wonderful place, don't you think? We have water, moss, moisture, these nice iron bars. I like it here, I really do. Nothing good ever happened to me in life. But now that I'm undead, I've never been happier. All right. You've come to this land at a bad time. There were nothing but hollow. In these parts. Save for me, of course. You're undead too, aren't you? You be careful then. <laughs> oh, go down along the side to reach the depths of the undead berg. Only unkempt crooks and liars to be found there. Hardly a place for a lady like myself. But who knows? Maybe you'd fit right in. <laughs> I highly doubt I would. Okay, now she's repeating herself. This is just sell. Blood blood red moss clumps, purple moss clumps, blooming purple moss clumps, poison throwing knife, dung pies, alluring skulls, charcoal pine resin. This isn't too useful in my opinion. Okay, this however is Transient Curse. Yeah, I'm gonna show that off. I'm gonna buy one for now. Rotten pine resin, homeward bone, prism stones, humanities, printing stones for super expensive, and elemental arrows, which can be pretty cool, but yeah. We're just gonna buy one transient curse. Look, I'm actually gonna go get another firekeeper soul that I think you're not intended to get right away. You could have got it early in the game, but it helps to have transient souls and some kind of and be a bit upgrading your weapons. So if you remember, there was a door in the very beginning of the game, now we can open it. Huzzah! Yeah! Kill the rock. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
We're back at Firelink again. Now that we found those two trainers, let's go talk to them. Especially the fire guy. I want to learn from him. Where's your like a Sparta kick this, this fool? Sparta! Okay, he's dead. You? Sparta! Okay, cool. <laughs> I love Sparta kicking these guys. Magic guy. Oh, hello. I regret meeting you under such compromising circumstances. At least we both made it back unscathed. Mm hmm. Did you see them? The three young clerics headed for the catacombs to seek kindling. Kindling is the art of feeding bonfires. The poor young girl sent down into a tomb. What a terrible mission she is burdened with. That sounds awful. Oh, hello. Terrific to see us both in one piece, and pray that you never go hollow. Okay, anything else you guys say, dude? Oh, hello. Terrific, and pray. Okay, he will teach you. However, if you look at my stats, I only have nine intelligence. In other words, you need at least ten to learn magic and at least ten to learn faith. Clearly, I'm too stupid to learn from this guy. Whatever. But this guy, though, he's gonna be a total bro. Well, I see you made it out. Yeah. I made it out safely too. Sweet. I have my pyromancy in a great swamp, so I can use the magic with a bit of care. Oh yeah. By the way, uh, I can share my spells with you. I think you have a knack for it. All you need are the materials. I'll be pleased to help you. Ah, uh, unless you find the magic unsavory. No, I don't find your magic unsavory. Yeah, wonderful. You're I'm cool. sure that you know they'll be of some use, some assistance. Here, first take this. A pyromancy flame. The glowy fire hand. From the great swamp. Now you're a fully fledged pyromancer. Why, let's get started right now. Of course. So let's see. Let's talk to him first. is the art of casting fire. Produce flame, then channel it. Just as our ancestors did. A pyromancer must be in tune with nature herself. My home, the great swamp, is an abundant store of nature. You will understand one day. It only takes time. Pyromancy has a, well, rather primitive aspect to it. It messes poorly with advanced culture, and pyromancers are considered rather unsavory, which is fine, as I never got along with anybody anyway. So, for me, turning undead didn't change a thing. <laughs> Pyromancer's flame is, is a part of his own body. The flame develops right along with his skill. When I gave you that flame, I gave you a part of myself. Please take good care of it. I will. The Pyromancer's flame, right. please take. So let's go ahead and purchase items. So in this game, you have to purchase your spells. We have Pyrom Fire Orb, Combustion, Iron Flesh, Flash Sweat, a Fireball. We're gonna buy all of them. These are particularly useful. I find fireball for sure. Flash sweat's gonna be useful when we get to fiery areas. Iron flesh I find pretty useful, especially when we fight hydras. Combustion is a really good spell for farming. And fire harvest has a stronger version of the fireball. Now like weapons you can you can reinforce your pyromancy flame, which will make your pyromancy stronger. And it lets you scale. Well, that's if you use that for punching, so that's not too useful. We're gonna bump this up all the way, as much as we can. You can bump this up to 15. So let's do it, I think, to 5. No, we can, we can do it to 5. Awesome. Bye, then. Come back if you find anything new. Sounds good, my man. Let's go ahead and equip this bad boy, shall we? Let's use Pyromancy Flame here on the right. And before we do anything, yeah, see? Oh, we can't do anything because we don't have any s spells attuned. To attune spells or to equip spells, you have to go to a bonfire. So let's go and do that real quick. So you have to click the slot you want to fill and then pick whichever one you want. For the next part, I'm actually going to need combustion. 
Let's go ahead and do that. And if you have multiple tumor slots with multiple spells filled in, you press up to change it. But now we can use combustion. Haha! -ha, I can with fire. Pretty cool, huh? Alright, so we picked up a transient curse, and there's a reason for that. We're gonna see what we can do with it right now. No, 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 no. that was but anyway so we want to go down here uh, we'll talk to him next part we're kind of running low on time we'll talk to some more people when we um come back and then we'll continue down into the depths leads to an area which is going to be a bit tough, but we can handle it, I think. I'm going to worry about these small fries. New Londo Ruins. Okay, this place is spooky and full of water. There should be a guy we can fight around here, I think. Oh, that gives us transient curses. I need to buy one. Ah, it's actually good to buy some. Okay, so about this place. This place is haunted. Straight up. And there's these ghosts that come out to fight you. You cannot hurt them unless you use a transient curse on yourself. See that item over there? That's what we're here for. It helps to have transient curses. So let's go ahead and use one now. Now that, we're, now that we're cursed, we can actually fight these ghosts. You know, these things. And if you don't have the transient curse, you cannot hurt them. But they can sure as heck hurt you. Careful, if you fall in the water, you will die. You cannot swim in this game. In any Dark Souls game, for that matter. get to that area. Okay, right here. Be careful, though. You can walk here, but just pay very close attention to your footing. Oh, no, this blessing doesn't help at all, does it? Yeah, just walk along this little catwalk here. Um, walk back. There's not a lot of room to fight. Let them come to you. Easy. Okay. Slow and steady. Steady as she goes. Okay, fine. We got it. The Firekeeper Soul. Let's go back to Firelink. And oh, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Okay. Just take it slow. Out of way. All right, that's all we came here for. You could get this as early as when you come to Firelink, but it's very difficult to get it, which is why I didn't opt to get it now. Because you don't really need it, but you can get it now with a transient curse, which that guy really drops one. So yeah, um, this will obviously help our SS class become a lot stronger, which is really nice. So let's go. Item. S stock. Okay, cool. Um, let's see. We have to go back. Run right into part pretty soon. Let's get back. Let's say reinforce the plasma and rest of the bonfire. Oh, wrong one. This I'll show this off now. If you have the master key, you can get access to the valley of drinks really early from the other side. If you go that way, you can enter what's known as Blight Town, which is one of the hardest areas in the game. Well, not really. It's just a really, un it's not hard, it's more annoying, and you'll see why when I get there, which we're actually going to head there pretty soon. Yeah, this is the one I want to go into. A 
up we go. Plus plus two. More healing is always nice. Can't go wrong. Rest up. And leave. Alright, I think that's going to do it for this part. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you like, please leave a, le please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And next part, we're going to go down to the depths and explore that whole area. Probably do a boss fight. And then we'll go from there. So that being said, I will see you guys later. Peace.